Greetings! I am Natey Bird. As I'm sure you are aware, I've been working on getting the game ready for early access release. This process has been taking a while, but I think that things are getting quite close to being ready for the early access. As part of the early access, I want to make a demo version so that you can play the game and give me feedback for, you know, maybe things that I overlooked. So I want to have that demo version ready by the end of this month. And then if things go well, the early access should happen within the month following. The sound effects are taking me a lot longer than I'd want them to. This is because I'm so new to sound design that it takes me a very long time to make a sound that I think sounds okay. And even when I do make a sound that I think could fit, I'm usually not happy with it. For example, the dark tower that you're hearing right now, there's something off about the sound that I just, I don't like, so I think I'm going to have to redesign it. I will continue to add sound effects over time, slowly but surely, but I do think that this will probably be the last thing that actually gets finally, finally fully finished before the early access is released. The skills, enemies, and towers have all been balanced. I still need to go through and balance the campaign maps, but this will not be required for the demo version, because you're only going to be playing a few of the maps just to get a taste for what the game will feel like. But before early access, the campaign maps will need to be tested and balanced, so that will be kind of like one of the last things that I do, just to make sure that everything is, is running smoothly and that the, the game feels challenging enough, but not too challenging. I have also reworked the wording of things. Not only have I made things easier to understand, but I've also changed the way that they are displayed. So as you can see here, values that change when you upgrade something, they are um, shown in a different color so that when you upgrade, you'll see all of the different values that change. Some towers don't have as many of those values that change, but others do. Now also, I've made it so that uh, status effects are displayed in a different color, just to hopefully make things easier to see and easier to understand. And not only that, but I've also redone the skills menu. So if we go back to the skills, I have changed the way that these are displayed so that they show the current effects and then they show what, what the next level effects will be. So as I keep applying points, the values just keep changing because the that's just it's got one more skill point the way that i was doing it previously is i would show um the uh, um how much each skill point would add like in individually as a skill point rather than just showing the total accumulated value over time so hopefully that will make things easier to understand and, and just more streamlined overall I've also been experimenting with adding icons for each of the different stat values. I feel like walls of texts do usually make people go blind. So I've been trying to find a good way to make it so that the information for the different stat values can be displayed with an icon associated with it to make it easier to understand at a moment's notice. The settings menu is done. It is just the bare bones essentials, but it works and it saves your settings when you close and restart. The tutorial still has a lot of work that needs to be done. As it is now, it just highlights the tower build button when you are able to build a tower. Then if you build some towers, as soon as you're out of money, it stops highlighting that button and it starts highlighting the play button. Now it's not very obvious that the play button is being highlighted but it is being highlighted. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that once you do click this, the edges of this map are also highlighted. But I do still want to make it so that the tutorial is much more unobtrusive, but also very a lot better at prompting the player as to what to do when they need to do it. I will be making a dedicated naming video um, once the demo is released, because I think that when you're able to play the game, you're going to be getting a lot more ideas for different names that the game could be, because you know exactly what the game is going to be like. But I really do appreciate all the names that you've given me so far, and I have added them to the list. 
This is just a bonus thing, but some of the artwork has been added. As you can see here, the side panels have been added. And if I build a tower, the upgrade and sell buttons appear. Um, over here, this is incomplete. The essence is supposed to go here. The lives is supposed to be a progress bar. And these um, buttons are supposed to be inlaid, kind of like these buttons over here. But this is just a bonus thing. Polly's been working on adding more textures over time. That's it for this video. I hope you're excited to play the demo version in about a month. Thank you very much for your time, and have a fantastic day.